Hi class, let's continue talking about how to implement a, a class with a dynamic array as a member variable and related concept copy constructor. So you've seen in the last video that we dealt with the two lines of code that we need for every dynamic array, which is uh, the line that creates the dynamic array when we know the size and to delete the um, the pointer or, or to delete the array that the memory that's allocated for the array, not the pointer itself. You can't delete the pointer. Um, so let's think about that. Uh, when we pass in a object at, by value to a function, what will happen then? So um, because it will be a, a copy of the pointer that is going to be passed into this do something function, right? So the address will still pointing to the memory allocation of the array that is being allocated. And so that's actually, you can just um, change what's a, inside the list that's being passed in as a pass by value. Um, variable. So it's by definition not really passed by value. So we want to actually make that happen is to have a possibility of passed by value. And that's why we are talking about the copy constructor. I just want to give you a review of that because, um, mm, because I want you to know why we are needing a copy constructor. So like I said, the original copy of a dot element is going to get written over or even the pointer, right? Can be the value of the pointer can be changed. So um, very simply, you can just uh, say that it equals to now and then you can break the, the code. Um, so we are going to just um, do a, um, you can just break the code. And so uh, what's the solution? Can we just, so what's the solution? Can we just do something like, you know, using const uh, ampersand and do so? Uh, you kind of can, but why not make it easier? But there's actually another reason why we need the copy constructor. Um, what, it, when we return an object from a function, let's say in do something or in other places, we other functions, we created a new list and then we want to pass the list back outside to the world, um, to the main function, for example. And the same thing will happen. Um, actually, it will, uh, if you create that, that, that will um, disappear because a copy, a real copy is not, being made because of the um, the pointer going out of scope. Um, anyways, to make it simple, we need a copy constructor for a class that has pointers as member variable. So what is a copy constructor? It's called magic, uh, automatically in the two cases that I just discussed, which is when you pass a object into a function and doesn't want it to be changed so passed by by value and in other cases when the object is passed uh, and return as an uh an object of the class is being returned so what copy constructor really does is to copy an object of a class so that it's completely independent of the original um or before the copying, right? The original copy of the object. So I use the object a lot. Um, let's see how to do it. The member function looks like this. So it's the, the name of the class and then a const and then the name of the class again with an ampersand and then the variable. And then you need list colon colon because it's a member variable. Then you can 
um, this is how we are implementing it. The current size will be another list current size. Max size is another list max size. And then we need to, if the size is current size is bigger than zero, we need to copy one element by one element into the, the current list, right? And so this part needs to be done. Someone needs to do this. Someone needs to make a real copy of, of the object. And so we will set, we will then call the new, um, uh, create a dynamic and a dynamic array here. And then from I equals to zero to I, uh, smaller than actually it should be current size. Um, we will, or, or actually I thought about using current size, but I decided to use maximum size just so that it's a really exact copy. So this is a more physiological decision. Um, so element i will equals to another list dot element i. Um, because we are inside the list class, that's why we can access the member variable, which is private, um, using a dot notation. So otherwise, we would just set the element equal to no, which, you know, it, it could be that, the, or, or it should be that the current size will equal to zero. That's why we would set element equals to no. So let's look at the code in our text editor. Um, so it's actually this program. Now we have a copy constructor. We actually added more functions to it. Um, add to list, get current size, get last, and so on. Um, I think here right now we only care about the add to list. Uh, we are going to add one element to the list. I think we did that also in the last video. Um, do something um, function. This is outside of the class definition is actually an independent function. And when we implement it, we will try to actually change a, which is passing as a, a pass by value and set the second element to nine. So let's see what happens when we run it. Mm, so we will compile it. and then clean it up and then do a dot L. And we see that um, nothing got changed. So the list was okay. Um, it was intact, even though we were trying to, to um, set the second element as nine of the, the copy, uh, uh, the A that was passed in it actually didn't change the wheel copy. Um, so how did we do this? Maybe I need to um, talk about the code in the main function. So we declare a list A of three maximum number of elements. We add to list uh, the value three and then the value five, and then we print out A because we order, overloaded the insertion operator. And that's why we can print, print out the list this way. And then we do something and see if the list A has been changed. And so we prove that it didn't. But if we don't have the copy constructor, this is actually the code that, that has no copy constructor. We would run the same code and see what happens. So um, I'm going to include this code also in, the, in your uh, list of demo that you can download. So if you run it, you see that there is uh, something that happened. It said that um, the pointer is being trying to be free when 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 there's actually no memory being allocated. Why it happened is because if you think about it, um, what's what's behind the scene? When we when we call um, do something. And then this go out of scope and then uh, 
actually my apology there's a this that i changed earlier so but it doesn't actually matter to i can run it again just in case but it would do the same thing because what happened is that when this uh, go out of scope it um when when this go out of scope it tried to delocate the the memory right because a is inside here so it tried to call the destructor and then and then outside it tried to call the destruct uh, destructor again but it's already not pointing to any memory allocated and that's why it created an error and so you see why the copy constructor is important so to recap what we talked about why and when we need a copy constructor member function that is when we have we, we are dealing with uh, pointers basically it's not just exactly uh, uh, the dynamic um, the not only when it's the case of dynamic array if you have a member variable that is a pointer you will have to implement a copy constructor this example is just to show you one way or one 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 example and we also demoed how to implement a copy constructor Next, we are going to talk about overloading the assignment operator. Actually, these three things, the constructor, uh, uh, the copy constructor, the destructor, and the overloading of the assignment operator are called the big three. Whenever you need one, you actually need all of them. But we are going to talk about it. See you in the next video.